Hi, my name is Tianye Li. I'm a PhD student at USC. It's my pleasure today to introduce our recent work on neural 3D video synthesis from multi-view video. This work is done with the Reality Lab Research and Meta. We propose a novel approach for reconstructing dynamic real-world scenes from multi-view videos. Our compact and expressive representation allows us to render photorealistic images from a wide range of novel viewpoints and at arbitrary times. Our 3D video captures view-dependent effects such as specular reflections, volumetric effects such as flames, and a challenging dynamic such as fast motion, occlusion, and topological changes. Our approach takes the high quality and the compactness of the static neural radiance field in a new direction to a model-free dynamic setting. At the core of our approach is a novel time-conditioned neural radiance field that we call DyNerf. DyNerf represents scene dynamics using a set of compact Latin codes. The learned Latin code and the DyNerf network forms an expressive representation to capture dynamic scenes that allow us to interpolate in both space and time. We can then use volume rendering to generate images for any view and time. Training ray-based neural networks such as Radiance Field can be very slow. To accelerate the training, we propose two novel strategies. The first strategy is a hierarchical training scheme. We first train DyNerf at keyframe until convergence, and then with that keyframe model, we train DyNerf on the full sequence. The second strategy is a novel ray importance sampling. We compute the map of per ray importance bait according to the appearance variance of the ray over time. Here we show an example of the importance bait as a heat map Hot colors mean the higher probability of that pixel being sampled during training. The important sampling makes efficient use of ray samples, which significantly accelerates training and improves rendering quality. DyNerf, using our proposed efficient training strategies, can enable high-quality 3D video synthesis with a reasonable training time. A alternative solution is to concatenate time with the input of nerve, which we call nerve T. Trained with the same number of iterations, nerve T fails to model dynamic scenes at high pixel quality. In contrast, DyNerve can reconstruct challenging dynamic scenes, including the view dependent effects, almost photorealistically. We apply hierarchical training and ray important sampling in DyNerve training. With the same number of training iterations, the two strategies allow the model to be efficiently trained by exploiting spatial temporal redundancy, which improves the final rendering quality. We compare our method to several prior works. Local light field fusions produce blur images with ghosting artifacts, especially for objects at a far distance and at occlusion boundaries. The result from neural volumes are good in well-observed areas, but suffer from cloudy artifacts and color inconsistency with view changes. Our result achieves the most photorealistic rendering compared to this existing method. The continuous Latin space that we learn with DyNerf allows us to interpret it smoothly between frames, enables slow motion videos to be generated at any frame rate. Here we show a 60 frame per second video generated from 30 frame per second. Furthermore, by freezing the Latin codes and manipulating the camera path, we can produce the so-called bullet time effects. We demonstrate the interactive playback of our 3D video on Commodity VR Quest 2 headset. This is done by distilling our pre-trained DynF model to the layered meshes. We demonstrate our approach on various everyday scenes, which contains challenging scene dynamics, varying illumination and shadows, view-dependent appearances, and volumetric effects. We release these multi-view video datasets for research purposes. Please see the datasets, the video, and additional information at our project website. Please also visit our poster on Wednesday. Thank you.